Let's talk today about the difference between wholesaling and flipping, right? Let's talk about wholesaling first. Wholesaling is really a form of flipping. Now, flipping got its name back in the day by buying a piece of property that was ugly, needed work, fixing it up and selling it and flipping it for a profit. That's where the term flipping came from. Wholesaling is when you buy a house or put a house under contract and then sell that contract to another cash investor, making a profit. Now, that's just flipping a piece of paper, right? It's really, it's flipping a contract. So it is a form of flipping, but you never actually take ownership to the house if you're doing what's called a signing in that scenario. So what does that mean? Let's say that you have a house that you stumble onto and the person is willing to sell the house for $75,000. So you talk to that seller and you say, look, I'm gonna put the house under contract for $75,000. Now you've done the math, you've used maybe our home flipping evaluator or whatever you do to evaluate, and you determine that somebody else could buy that house from you for $95,000 and flip it and make $50,000 profit for themselves. Now when I say flip it, I mean actually buy it from you or buy it from buy the contract from you and then do all the work, flip it, and then six months later they sell it and make fifty thousand dollars profit. Great. So if you bought the house for seventy five thousand and then you assign that contract to the other buyer for ninety five thousand, that's a twenty thousand dollar profit you get for flipping a piece of paper. Now, does it work? Yes. Is it legal? In almost all states it's legal. There's a signing, there's what's called a double close. I won't go into that in this video, we'll do that in a future video. But I'll tell you that a signing paper is something that we can do. Our company will do well over a million, million two this year, a million three this year, just in assignment contracts. That's finding a deal and then selling that deal to somebody else. Now, what are the benefits of it? Well, obviously there's no risk, right? There's minimal risk because you never actually own a piece of property. It's a much faster way to make large chunks of money. Now, you can make $5,000 in a fee, you can make 15 or 20, our average is around $18,000. We have some deals that we've done that are $5,000 for an assignment fee. We have some deals we've done that are closer to $75,000 for a deal. I know a guy in my circle that's done a deal over $250,000 on one building, a commercial building he found, and sold it off to CVS and made $250,000 for putting the house under contract, or the building under contract. Crazy. But... It's a way to get into real estate investing. Now, it's a way that does not require any capital of your own, very minimal, if any capital of your own. Here's what you have to have. You gotta be a good salesperson. You've gotta be good at number one, being a bird dog or whatever you choose to do in marketing, finding those off-market deals before anybody else finds them. That's the skill you have to have. And then once you find that skill or once you find that property, then you have to be good at finding the cash buyer and then making the deal. And then you have to get good at keeping the deal together the entire time because that's not that's always the tough part, right? Keeping the deal together through there, making sure nobody else tries to steal the deal from you and all that and make sure you have all the right paperwork and keep that deal together through closing. Now. How fast can you make money in wholesaling? You can close deals in sometimes a week to two weeks. It just depends where we do most of our work in the Northeast, uh, the lawyers, it just seems to take a whole lot longer with lawyers involved, so they tend to stretch out to four weeks, but we like to close our deals anytime from three to four weeks from a wholesale deal. Now, let's talk about flipping in the sense that you might know it, and that is doing a renovation. A renovation is when you buy a house, right? You actually buy a house with your own money, with hard money, with a private lender money, with creative financing, any one of the ways that we choose or to teach you how to do it. And so you buy that house and put it under contract. Now that title goes into your name or your company's name. Now you have to go out and get contractors, right? And do all the work to flip that house, put together a scope of work, put together a contract, hire the contractors, oversee the project. I don't recommend you do the work yourself. Amber and I did uh, 800 houses ago. We did it ourselves, but we don't do that anymore. And so I recommend that you manage that whole process and manage the renovation process so that you have a beautiful product when it's done. Then you put that property on the market and you sell it. If you've done your math correctly and you've played your cards right and you've managed that project correctly, you'll make, let's say, $50,000 on that transaction that example I just gave. You bought a house for $95,000. Let's say you had to put $50,000 into it. You're into it for $145,000. Let's call it one fifty, dollars and you sell that house for $200,000. You should make around a $50,000 profit when all is said and done after expenses. Now, there's lots of things to take into consideration. I won't go into all that in this video. But there's lots of things to take into consideration in doing a flip. What are the pros and cons? The pros are you can make large chunks of money. Right, this past year we've done several deals that are in the six figures because of the craziness of the market that we're in. So you can make a lot of money on renovations by doing it correctly and managing the process correctly. What's the risk? Well, the risk is you can also lose money. So what people fail to realize when they look at the stuff on TV and they watch all these shows is that there's a risk that you take when you buy a piece of property. 
Now, what is that risk? Well, if you do the math correctly, we teach our students how to buy the house correctly because in real estate, we make our money when we buy. So if you buy the house correctly, meaning you buy at a deep enough discount, you can really uh, hedge your bet against any problems that you're gonna have because here's a little tip, you're gonna have problems, right? You're gonna have problems on a renovation. So you wanna manage that process and have enough meat on the bone so that when something happens, let's say a major problem happens and it's a $10,000 error, you'll be pissed, you won't be happy about it, but if you bought the house expecting a 50,000 profit, now it's a 40,000 profit. There are some people that make a huge mistake and they buy a house planning to just make 10,000 or $20,000 profit and when they have a big mistake, profit's gone just like that. So you have to make your money when you buy. You have to have a system when you buy. So you can make a lot of money in wholesaling. You have to be great at sales. You got to figure out how to, how to be a great matchmaker. That's what you want to be great at. You have to be good at speaking. You have to be good at, at connecting people, finding deals, and making the deal happen. It doesn't require any of your own capital or any of your own credit. It just requires a lot of hustle from you. But you can do it. Make great money. And then renovations, uh, uh, flips that are full renovations. Again, it takes skill to learn how to find the house up front. You still have to have that skill and then manage the entire process and then you know have the money for it, know where to get the money, know where to get the contractors, know how to budget that, know how to put it all together and then sell the house for a profit. So they are two different things, but they are both in the flipping world. So if you ever wonder what the two were, now you know, and I hope that helps.